In this final video for common fractions grade 8, we're going to have a look at fractions and percentages. A percentage means out of a hundred and can therefore be rewritten as a common fraction. In example 1, we are asked to rewrite 20% as a common fraction. We already know that 20% means 20 out of a hundred and all that's left to do now is simplify. I can first divide the top and bottom by 10 and then again by 2 to get a final value of 1 over 5. Once again, there are a few percentages that are very helpful to know by heart. Example 2. Rewrite 17 over 20 as a percentage. So this time, the fraction is given and we need to do the inverse calculation. To rewrite a percentage, we divide it by 100. So this time we are going to multiply by 100. And then of course, when working with fractions, we prefer to have everything in fraction form. So I put that on one. Now I can simplify by dividing the top and bottom by 10 and then simplify again by dividing by 2. If I now multiply my numerators of 17 times 5, I will have 85 and in the denominator I have 1, so that is 85%. A different approach to this same question is to ask yourself what is the equivalent fraction where the denominator is 100? Because that means I have a percentage. So here in the denominator, I need to multiply by 5, which should then be repeated in the numerator. And when I multiply by 5, I will get 85 over 100, which is the same as 85%. Example 3. Rewrite 3 over 8 as a percentage. So if I want to take 3 over 8 and multiply that by 100 over 1 to get the percentage, I can simplify the denominator as well as numerator by dividing by 4. And when I now multiply the numerator, I have 75 and in the denominator 2. This can be rewritten as a mixed number of 37 and a half percent or even as a decimal of 37,5%. In this case, the method of rewriting the denominator as 100 will be a bit more challenging. This method works when the percentage is an integer. If you chose to know by heart that 1 8 is 12,5%, you could have done this in another way by saying that 3 eighths will then be 3 times 12.5% and that is 37.5%. Example 4. What percentage is 30 of 45? This question actually asks exactly the same thing as example 2 and 3. We are asked to determine the percentage but this time the fraction is not given as clearly. So you need to form the fraction by saying 30 out of 45. And to make this a percentage, we will once again multiply by 100 over 1. Now I can simplify by dividing 30 as well as 45 by 15, and then I will have 2 thirds. So when multiplied, this will give me 200 over 3, and rewritten as a mixed number, this is 66 and two-thirds percent. Or, again, you could have chosen to know that a third is 33 and a third percent, and that is why this is then double that value. You can also choose to rewrite this in decimal form as 66,67 percent. Example 5. Calculate 60% of 700. I'm going to start off by writing 60% in fraction form. 
And then it is important for you to know that the word of in algebra means multiply. So here we'll have 60% multiplied by 700. Next, I can simplify by dividing by 10 and then dividing by 10 a second time. And then my numerator will be 6 times 70, which is 420 over 1. And that is why we have 420 rand. A different approach to this question would have been to start off determining what 10% of 700 rand is because 10% is simply the value divided by 10 and that will be 70 rand. But instead of 10% we now have 60% which means I will have 6 times the 70 rand and that will again give me 420 rand. Example 6. Increase 2000 rand with 25%. So here we want to know how much is 25% of 2000 Rand. I already know that 25% simplified is a quarter. So I want to know what a quarter of 2000 Rand is. That means I'm going to divide 2000 by 4 and that is 500 Rand. The amount needs to increase by 500 rand so if i take my original 2000 rand and add 500 i have a final amount of 2500 rand and here once again we have another approach to this question the original 2000 rand can be seen as a hundred percent we need to increase this percentage with another 25 percent so we need to determine what 125% is, and that can be written as 125 over 100. 125% of 2000 Rand, and now we can simplify by dividing the numerator and denominator by 100. And when I now multiply my numerator, I will immediately have the final answer of 2500 Rand.